How y'all doing, baby? It's Wednesday, hump day, baby, halfway through the week. Beautiful day down here in South Texas. I hope the sun is warming your heart no matter where you live. Anyway, what's going on in America today? Well, ain't it funny you should ask that shit? You know, being America, being united here as we, we so-called like to think of ourselves, Americans, ain't that what we used to call ourselves Americans? Yeah, yeah, not so much anymore. Uh, some of them uh, over there on the other side, over there on the Republican Party, i.e. I, uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene. Yeah, we spoke about her yesterday, her little comment about separating blue states and red states, you know. Well, she went on some right-wing nut job station to clarify her remarks, you know, so you can fully understand her commitment to what? Are you shitting me? No, she doesn't believe in Americans. She believes in a blue America in a red America, and we should get a divorce. We should separate. We should separate. That way, the red states could control the things they want. Their blue states could do whatever they want over there. But it's all about the control. Forget the Constitution, baby. That goes out the window along with a lot of other things because the states will decide what you can and cannot do. Well, like Marjorie Taylor Greene said, if a, a Democrat were to leave a blue state and move into a red state where they can't vote for five years. Got to wait five years to get a vote, baby, because they don't trust your ass. Boy, howdy shit. Ain't that something? Yeah, she said things like they could do away with the Department of Education. Let the states decide how the children will be raised in that state. That way, and I quote, she says that, that, that red states could fire LGBTQ teachers. Yeah. Sound American to you? Does that sound... Sound like a, a, a place that should be called the United States of America? Not in her mind, baby. Not in her mind. But <laughs> what can you say? It's Marjorie Taylor Greene, but she has an iron grip, baby, on Kevin McCarthy's balls. So, you know, everything's up for grab here. She's not promoting a civil war. So I don't know how that works. I don't know how they just decide that, oh, well, we're going to change everything just at the whim of her? Are you shitting me? What goes up in Georgia anyway? Didn't they just elect two Democratic senators? Didn't they elect Joe Biden as president? I think they did, Marjorie. Damn, you seem to be living in a blue state. Why don't you get your ass out of there? I don't think you're qualified to be there anyway. But that's my opinion. So what else is going on, John? Well, I'm glad you asked that question. What's his name? Congressman Barry... Moore. Barry Moore. He's uh, out of Alabama. He's a Republican out of Alabama. What's he want, John? Does he want to separate the country again? No, not him. No. He wants to unite the country around a gun. He wants to make the AR-15 the national gun of America. And you've heard me quote that poem before. Italy is the leading tower of pizza. France is the Eiffel Tower. America is a gun. And old Barry here wants to make sure you know that. Not, not just a gun. Which gun? The AR-15. You know, the one that was used in Las Vegas when 58 people died. At Marjorie Taylor, at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, where 17 died. At, at, at Sutherland Springs, Texas, at a church where 26 died. At the Pulse nightclub where 49 died, on and on and on, Sandy Hook. National gun, that's what he wants. He wants to honor the weapon that Americans use to massacre their fellow citizens. That's what he wants to honor. I wonder how much, wonder how much he's getting paid. How much is he getting a little drift there uh, off, of, off the gun manufacturer? Hey, you get this on the bill? Yeah, it's bullshit. So we have to suffer through this crap that the Republicans are con are constantly just throwing out there red meat and shit to stimulate their little masses out there. Marjorie Taylor over there talking about let's separate the country. Yeah. Meanwhile, Joe Biden's on his way back from that trip to Ukraine, you know, the one he had the courage to do, and then went to Warsaw, Poland to make a speech. Yeah, that guy, he's coming back, and thank goodness he is, and I'm proud of him. He's the one that's tried to unite this country. He is the one that united NATO. While the Republicans moan and groan now about Ukraine, us supporting Ukraine, really? Where does all that freedom and democracy stuff? Oh, just for your ass, where you live. Yeah, 
That's the way they think about it nowadays. Anyway, it is Wednesday, so get through this hump day. We'll be back live tomorrow night, uh, so y'all come by and visit. Meanwhile, take care of yourself.